Welcome to Roughing It with Ruth. I'm on a mission to find cheap backpacking gear so that backpacking can be more accessible for everyone. Please keep in mind that my goal with these videos is not to make you go out and buy a bunch of gear. The cheapest way to do backpacking is to rather borrow or rent some gear. Remember that if someone is nice enough to lend you their backpacking gear, you really need to look after it and find out exactly how to do that before you take it on your backpacking trip. I think one of the items that you can spend the most money on is your shelter for backpacking. There are actually a reasonable amount of budget options available for tents in general, but you do have to be fairly careful I bought a campground, that's the brand, tent from Take A Lot on sale and it was extremely cheap, but that tent was absolutely terrible. It was actually quite lightweight, it was a single wall tent and I liked the way that the poles intersected, it looked fairly strong on the pictures and the poles were in sleeves rather than clipped on. but. There was absolutely no seam sealing done anywhere on the whole tent and the stitching that had been done through the single wall of the tent had left really big holes everywhere. So when you actually pitched the tent and it was taut, you were essentially inside of a sieve. If that had had any rain at all, you would have just gotten soaked. Luckily Take A Lot has a really good return policy so I was able to return that for a refund. I then went with a slightly pricier option in terms of budget tents. It was only 399 Rand from Decathlon, the Arpanaz two-person tent. This is a double wall tent, so it has an inner and a fly sheet, and the fly sheet is actually seam sealed. Decathlon also claims that they test their tents in wind tunnels. I don't know how much faith you can put in that, but at least they are doing some sort of testing. Although there are places on the tent where you can see where costs have been cut, for instance the bathtub floor is more of a kind of plastic tarpaulin material rather than any sort of nylon, and the tent itself is actually very heavy, it does seem reasonably well made to me. However, the heavy weight of the tent and the fact that I'm not actually going to be sharing it with another person, it is a two-person tent so you could split the weight, but I'm going to be carrying it myself, is a bit of a problem for me. I only have a 40 litre budget backpack so I don't have that much space and a lot of my budget gear is a lot heavier than my regular backpacking gear. So weight is becoming a bit of a concern, I'm not the most powerful person in the whole world. So what I decided to do is also from Decathlon, I bought a ground sheet. It's just sold as a tent ground sheet. It's essentially just a very cheap top with grommets on the corners and along some parts of the sides where you can attach guy lines. This is important because I'm not going to be using it as a ground sheet, I'm going to be using it as a top. Now, I don't actually have any experience with top camping at all, so I'm reasonably nervous about this, but it is going to save me a whole lot of weight. And the top itself only cost 199 Rand. And then at the moment I'm using a K-Way trekking pole that I already own to pitch it, but you could also just use a stick that you find out in the wilderness to pitch your top. And I also bought eight Cochlin's lightweight tent stakes. The guy line that I'm using is actually utility cord that I bought from Outdoor Warehouse for only 16 Rand for 10 meters. In addition to being slightly nervous, since this is my first outing into the world of top camping, I'm actually also pretty excited about it. I haven't spent a whole lot of money on it, so if it's a total disaster, then I haven't wasted too much money. But if it is really great, then I might actually look into getting a more lightweight top set up because that is one of the best ways to save weight is on your shelter system. <laughs> the top shelter is what I'm going to be using on my test hike when I take all of this budget backpacking gear out into the wilderness and actually use it. If you're keen to see more videos about budget backpacking, then please consider subscribing to my channel.